Hey folks, welcome back. Um, quick video here. Well, it may not end up being that quick, but I promised you a video when I uh, thinned out the broccoli patch and the carrot patch. And uh, that's what this is. So, as you can see here, uh, the carrots that I pulled out uh, are not nearly as big a pile as the broccoli. I know a lot of you told me not to go overboard with the broccoli because I guess uh, it can cause gas issues with the rabbits, so we won't be feeding them all of this. I think this would be a little too much. Um, I will give them all the carrots that came out of the ground, the young carrots. They have a little bit of a carrot root on them, mostly just tops. Uh, this right here was the patch of broccoli. I left the biggest ones. They're kind of laying over, not feeling too good from the thinning. I need to build up some mulch around the base of these to help them out a little bit. And uh, that's the carrot patch, which probably really needs to be thinned a little bit more, but uh, we're going to call it good for tonight. And uh, I've already fed a little bit of the broccoli to the rabbits right over here in the tractor, or the mobile pen. Um, let's see if I can open this lid with one hand, or a hand and a foot. There we go. And as you can see, I gave them a nice little pile of broccoli. Hopefully it won't be too much for them. Um, they don't really seem that interested in it, to be honest with you, so I don't think they're going to eat all of it anyway. Uh, they tend to like to chew on the grass a little bit better, it would seem. So, yeah, we've got eight rabbits in here growing out. Here's one that's thinking it's going to jump out of here. Get down, silly. Five of the rabbits in here are from one litter. Oh, jeez. Get down. You can't, don't, don't even think about it. So that, that big one that just jumped up, it needs butchered, and so do its uh, siblings. They're, they're getting big enough now, they don't need to be in here anymore. And they're also starting to harass the uh, smaller ones. So, uh, I really, I should have butchered them already. I've been procrastinating. See this one? That one's, that white one looked like it was getting ready to mount the, uh, this other one here, the smaller one. Uh, they've been humping each other a lot, trying to kind of fight for dominance now that they're reaching sexual maturity. So it's definitely time to butcher the bigger ones, uh, before they start fighting too much. With that being said, let's go ahead and close the lid here. And we will, uh, we'll get the rabbits in the colony pen fed their, uh, their vegetable sprouts. If I can get this lid closed a little better, that is. I need to, need to come up with a little bit better hinge system on this lid. Right now it's just kind of wired on to the, uh, cages. Not the most, not the most secure thing in the world, but it works for now. Now let's get our tarp back on here. It's supposed to rain tonight some more, so we want to make sure these guys don't get drenched when it does. And these are actually all males in this tractor. Um, I sold all the females and a couple of the males, but there was a surprising number of males in these two litters. Um, Unfortunately, I only had a couple of females. The males are harder to sell. 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 They're harder to sell than the females. Uh, not as much demand for them. I can almost always sell my females right away. Uh, if any of you are in the Kansas City, Missouri area and you need uh, some male meat rabbits, I've got them here. You're going to have to let me know within the next day or two, though, because uh, I'm going to need to be butchering these soon. So if you're interested, if you're in the Kansas City area, 25 bucks a rabbit. And uh, the big ones here are probably about 12 weeks old. A little bit older than I normally let them get. But uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you're interested. Be quick about it, because like I said, uh, they're going to be going off to freezer camp soon. All right, so let's start off with a nice big pile of these broccoli sprouts. This is probably all I'm going to give them, and uh, this will be for five adults and five young rabbits to share, so hopefully this won't be too much.
Hey buns, I got snacks for you. Alright, and then let's go grab the carrots, and then I don't know what I'll do with the rest of those broccoli sprouts. I'll probably just put them in the composter. I don't want to go overboard and cause any issues with the rabbits. Because that's, that's a lot of broccoli that's still left there. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably just leave it right here for tonight. See how much of this stuff they've eaten in the morning and decide what I want to do with it from there. Carrot tops, though, I think you can pretty much give them as much as you want. As, as far as I know, there's no danger with giving them these carrot greens. baby back there tell you what let me just uh, get some of the rain out of this chair my butt's gonna get a little bit wet but so be it we'll just sit here and we'll watch the rabbits for a minute and see how they enjoy their uh, their treats this is acting like it's gonna let me switch to a different camera during the middle of the video let me test that out if this cuts off, I apologize. I'll post it in two parts, or I think I can actually use YouTube to splice two videos together, so we'll find out. One second. Look at that. It does let me switch in the middle of the video. That's pretty cool. So this is the more uh, standard angle camera. It's supposed to have higher resolution on it than the wide angle camera. And since we don't really need to see a wide angle right now, we'll just use the, uh, the standard angle. Oh yeah, they're all realizing there's something out here to nibble on. So right now, we've got the big one that's nibbling is Allie. And then the little ones that are coming out are the, uh, the little ones that belong to uh, Snow White. And uh, I'm going to call Snow White Snowy for short. I've got a commenter who uh, said they lost a rabbit recently whose name was Snowy, and they were hoping that Maybe I would name the next white one Snowy, but I don't really intend on keeping any more white ones. So, as a compromise, we'll just call Snow White Snowy for short. And then uh, it'll be like a little tribute to uh, the rabbit that uh, one of my commenters recently lost. Oh yeah, they're liking those carrot tops. They went straight for that. They're kind of ignoring the broccoli in favor of those carrots. Yeah, they're munching down. There's <laughs> Snowy trying to steal carrot tops out of Betty's mouth instead of just eating fresh ones out of the pile. There's Cindy, or Cinderella, getting ready to come out of her shelter. She just realized she was missing out on snacks. And I think Sal's in there right behind her. Yeah, that's Sal the buck was in, in that shelter with Cindy. It looks like he's trying to squeeze out. Cindy's kind of blocking him in there. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, he's trying to breed her. She's like, get off me, I'm trying to eat. Let's see how close we can get now that they're all snacking. They get kind of skittish of people when they live in a setup like this. When they have places where they can run and hide from you, they, uh, they definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, they don't like how close I'm getting. 
Well, they'll just have to deal with it if they want to eat their fresh greens. You can see this little one that's closest to Snowy, its eye is kind of swollen and stuff. It had really bad nest box eye. I had to kind of pry its eyelids open and scoop all the pus out. And it had some hair stuck under the eyelid that I had to get out. And uh, it looks like it's healing up nicely now. Still looks a little gnarly, but uh, lot, it's looking a lot better. That little one couldn't open its eye at all before I intervened. So definitely making some progress. Okay, so from right to left, we have Cindy or Cinderella, uh, Betty, Sal, and Snowy or uh, Snow White. And then the three little ones are Snow White's babies. There's a fourth of Snow White's babies right up there. And that big girl right there is Allie. And I think there's another one of Snowy's babies. I'm pretty sure she has five. Right now I'm only seeing four. And uh, sorry if the video is a little bit grainy. It's uh, low light out here. The sun's going down. I'm kind of having to rely on the uh, flash of this camera for lighting. So hopefully it looks decent. They're just munching away. What do you think? Don't want me to pet you, do you, you little turd? Okay, there we go. You see a little one under the deck and then the one sticking out of the hole? So that's two. Uh, the runt is under the deck and then that's a larger one up there in the hole. And then we've got three little ones right here. So that's five confirmed for sure. And five is all I've ever seen at a time. So I think, I think we've only got the five. I was thinking for a little while that there might have been a sixth baby, but uh, so far I haven't been able to see six of them all out at the same time, so I don't think that's the case anymore. I think it is five. So, And I think it was seven to begin with. I think she gave birth to seven. We must have lost two of them somewhere down the line, and uh, five survived. And that's really, that's not bad for her first litter. Um, Snowy is only six months old, so for her to, to do that well on her first litter, that's not bad at all. Um, I've seen first-time mothers do a lot worse, so I think, uh, I think she'll be a real good mother, especially as she gets a little bit older. Yeah, Sal causing trouble up there. <laughs> all the other rabbits are getting a little bit irritated with him. guys well I think we're gonna go ahead and cut the video off there seems like they've done most of their snacking and they're pretty much done now there's a few who are gonna still be nibbling on it for a while and they'll 
nibble on it here and there throughout the night, I'm sure, until it's gone. So um, no need to spend 30 minutes sitting here and just watching them munch on leaves, but uh, I promised you the video, so here it is. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for checking in and subscribing and commenting and liking my videos. It really helps me out a lot, and uh, until next time, have a good one.